Anyway, this is just a quick vid to show you how to install a 12 volt DC water heating element inside a standard ice chest. Came out sweet. Okay, that's two and a half gallons. Wondering if it's hot? Yeah, that's hot. That's as long as I can touch it. Water is super, super hot. You can see my hands getting red already. All right, sweet. 140 in two hours. And again, that's about two and a half gallons. Reason I chose that was because that fills the sink pretty much. So I can dump that in the sink now, and then you can use it for dishes, hand washing clothes, cleaning, just about anything. Just a little PVC shower, seven feet up to a small cap up there. Down to the pump, 500 GPH, 12 volt DC. This one I got hooked to a little foot switch for ease of use. Goes to a solar panel battery or 12 volt socket, just like the heating element. And it's great. Perfect. Now let's just drop the universal adapter on, like that. And when you line it up with the top, it's almost like it was made for it. Don't worry about the extra silicone caulk there. You can just let it dry and then we can cut it away afterwards. Or you can just let it dry and leave it really because the element will just push right through it.
and then on the inside, right through, about an inch above the bottom. So it couldn't be better. Now you just add the water and hook up the power source. There's the rating, by the way, 12 volt, 150 watt. And the screws. Again, this one's 12 volt. I'm using the 150 water, but you can use a 300, a 600, or a 1200. They all have the same thread, so they'll all fit that same flange. I wasn't planning on this part, but I'm going to say, if you can at all, go with the ice chest like this, or this one in specifically, because the flange fits so perfectly and flat, and I didn't even have to drill out the hole. I just unscrewed the uh, drain plug and slipped the element through. Super easy. Okay, now I'm going to do the shower test. I'm going to add six full gallons, so about halfway up, just eyeballing it, so it'll probably be like five to seven. But that'll be a good six, seven minute shower with any of those off grid showers. All right, it's plugged in, over to there, down to there. 98, 97, 98. Coolest spot. 95, 96. Oh yeah, that's perfect. So it did get to 120 in 60 minutes just like I was hoping. Perfect. There's the coolest spot, 112.5, Two hours. The coolest spot is now 130. I found that this temperature and that temperature, when you mix it, that's what the water temp is. So what did we say? 130, 140, so it's about 135 total. After two hours. Don't touch that. Super hot. But that's great. It worked exactly how I'd hoped. I couldn't have been better. It worked out perfect. By the way, I want to show you something. If you hit the element, it's the same as right next to it because it's really just reading the temp of the water. It's not going to read the element temp. That's like 400 degrees or something Fahrenheit. All right, and there's your dishwater. Super hot.